Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. This is my introductory video. Well, it should have been my introductory video. So here goes. What is the fundamental theorem of calculus exactly? Well, the fundamental theorem of calculus is this identity, is stated by this identity, where, X, where C lies between X and X plus H. It is commonly called the identity of the mean value theorem. So why do I call it the fundamental theorem of calculus? Because the so-called fundamental theorem of calculus is derived in one step from this identity. As you can see, it's just the integral divided by the interval width h. So if you multiply both sides of this identity by h, you have what's known as the fundamental theorem, which is this, right? Okay, so now that we settled that, let's see what does the theorem say exactly. So it says that given any smooth function f, this red function must be smooth, not only continuous, it must be smooth, unlike the fools at Wikipedia and any mainstream uh, institution think. It cannot be just continuous, it has to be smooth, okay, because the uh, theorem relates f to f prime. And you can tell that they've never understood because they've always written it or mostly written it with a capital F for the primitive and a little f for the derivative. So uh, the arithmetic mean of all the y ordinates of f of the interval is given by f prime of c. So what does that mean? It means that if you were to sum all the y values in here, okay, uh, in the green section, if you were to sum them and take their arithmetic mean, the, you'll get this magenta line. That's what it means, okay? And then once you get the magenta line, you can multiply by the interval width, which is nine minus five, which is four, okay? And if you multiply it by the interval width, then what happens? You get the area, okay? So, um, the, the mean value theorem and fundamental theorem of calculus are the same thing. How does it work? Well, very simple. It works like this. You take the arithmetic mean of all the y ordinates, and there may be more than one. And in this case, there are, because on this side here, on this side here, there's another magenta line. Okay? But we're not going to worry about that right now. Then you take that magenta line, multiply it by 4, and you get the area. The area of this uh, green shaded block is 28 square units because the interval width is four and the arithmetic mean is seven. So this red function or F prime must be smooth, not only continuous. And that's pretty much it. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, become a subscriber, okay? And remember that you can click join to be able to view my members only videos, it'll cost you five euros a month. You'll learn more than you've ever learned in your entire life. Even if you're a mainstream mathematics professor of 50 or 60 years and you retired, I can tell you right now, you've never understood mathematics or calculus. In fact, you're probably just a common idiot who has done a lot of memorization and has very little understanding, but a lot of memorization. So become a follower on YouTube. If you're not one already, click like and follow me on academia.edu. And don't forget to join my members-only channel. My name is John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Goodbye.